to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be discussing essentially the philosophy of venting steam systems. One of the things that is very important, and this will be on the quiz, is that the steam and air are both invisible gases. If you can see steam, you're not really looking at steam. But so they're invisible gases which cannot coexist. Where there is air, there cannot be steam. The steam has to push the air out of the way in order for it to get in down the pipes. So the idea is that uh, back in the day, uh, you only needed, uh, particularly for single pipe steam systems, you only needed vents on the radiators uh, and not the mains because this was coal fired. And eventually the air would work its way out over the hours that the coal uh, furnace would burn. Um, fast forward to the late mid 20th century and now here we are in the 21st century, you're going to need to figure out some way of getting the air out of these uh, long mains because what tends to happen is the radiators uh, furthest away won't heat um, when the thermostat is satisfied. So there are several ways of doing this. Uh, the way we generally do is to uh, drill and tap uh, this cast iron uh, fitting here. Um, some, um, if you can have access to a welder, you can drill a hole uh, here and then put a thread lead on and do the same thing there. Um, or you can probably crack this uh, T, uh, excuse me, this 90 off, this one inch dry return. This is the drip and it is going to the wet return there. And the, you can then put a T here and uh, put, I'll put a long, long stalk up there if you, if that's the way you need to go. But whatever you need to do, you really need to vent the mains. And the philosophy is vent the mains quickly and that way you can vent the radiators relatively slowly and you can have a little better control over spitting, knocking, and banging if you uh, overvent a radiator. Because if you overvent a radiator, you're going to be creating a lot of condensate, which will have to flow back down this pipe as the steam is trying to get to that big, big hole on the, on the radiator. Uh, so sometimes people try to get around the fact that they don't have main vents by putting like heat timers on radiators and they're huge and they just draw the steam right to the radiator. The steam then condenses inside the radiator and then all that condensate has to roll back down the steam trying to roll, roll up the radiator. So if you create a low pressure zone here, you sort of trick the uh, steam to get here first. And then once this is shut, um, then, then it can goes, goes to the radiators. Uh, so it's a sort of two-step, three-step process. That made any sense. Um, so one of the ones we like um, is the Gorton number two. Uh, you don't need all of this all the time, but if you have long main vents, sometimes you can gang these up. Uh, these are, I believe, a lot better than the Hoffman 75s because they vent about three times as much for about the same amount of money. Um, they come packaged in, and if they rattle like that, the chances are they're going to work. Sometimes if you shake it and you don't hear that that rattle, um, that means that this thing is locked up, and um, you, you should return it. I've got, every once in a while, you get a couple of those, and uh, these people are old school. They, they love their product, and they want to uh, you to be happy with their product. Um, so I think this one, the steam has gotten to it now. If you tap it, there's no rattle. So this is, yep, steam has gotten to it. And so this is now, um, hot. Let me show you what's inside of them. Um, it's a bimetallic strip that when, um, this are two layer, uh, two different layers of, um, I think there's, uh, uh, ferro nickel alloys and they expand and contract at different rates and they're sandwiched together so as this heats this will bend up and shove that up into 
the hole there and what when you when it rattles this is what you're what you're seeing and if it doesn't rattle that means this pin has gotten out of the uh the hole there and uh i think i had a video earlier video explaining what happened to this one the bimetallic strip uh, at the factory was put in backwards so if you look inside there and you can make out the words true flex then that's that's probably why this thing is uh, not shutting off in the presence of steam that's another day thank you um, very much I hope this was uh, helpful and I'll see you on the next one